In this video, we're going to start setting up our CRUD functionality. So if you click on the view all products, what we got done so far is we dispatch an action when we want to load a list of products. And then when we successfully load a list of products, we dispatch another action. Then we update the state of our store using a reducer. So we have a list of products in here. We're able to grab this list of products using a selector and then update the view. Now what we want to set up is the rest of our CRUD functionality, our create, in this case, uh, add new product button. And uh, we'll set this up in another video. I'm going to break these videos down into each section, like create um, is going to be a video. Read is going to be another video. I'll probably label it that way too. Update. Uh, this is our update. We'll have a, a video for that. And then also we'll have another video for our delete. So we're going to be creating a bunch of actions and reducers for all of these. And luckily for us, they give us a lot of boilerplate code for that. If we go back into our project, what we'll do is we'll totally delete this store and start off from scratch. The reason is I want to use the command line and just generate the boilerplate code automatically for us instead of doing it line by line. And so what we'll do is we'll remove this store. Now I could just come in here and delete it and then go into the modules and delete it you know, and refactor all the code. But instead of doing that, I just went and created a brand new branch. If you're following along with the GitHub project, and, and also if you're in Visual Studio Code, you could just go down here to the left, click on the master, and then just jump over to the CRUD uh, branch. And that will remove the store, and this is the starting point we'll start off at. And if you're not following along in from within Visual Studio Code, you could just go to the uh, GitHub uh, page and I'll have this link down in the description and then you could just jump over to the uh, crud branch pull it in that way and also uh, I'll have like several commits within this branch so video 9 10 and 11 will be under this branch so you can jump around between different commits by just getting the number and I showed you how to do this at the beginning of the course the first video on how to jump between different commits within your command line now that we're at this point and we got the store removed. Now let's set up our store again using the command line. And I'm going to reinstall everything we're going to need. I'm going to reinstall the store, reinstall the effects, and we'll, we'll, we'll just install everything we're going to need. Libraries that you're going to want to install is the store, the dev tools, uh, the effects, and then also the entity and the schematics. I'm going to reinstall everything just in case somebody's just joining us. I don't want them skipping this step because they'll run in all kinds of issues if they're running commands in the command line they, and they don't have a library. So uh, let's start off with this one. And I'm going to kind of speed through this because we already went through this in the last several videos. So if you haven't checked out the last several videos, definitely check them out because we go into this in detail. So let's start off with this one. So I'll copy this, get this installing. that we pulled in all our libraries let's generate our store so if we go down to ngrx schematics and click on schematics and now what we're going to run is the entity command so just copy this and also we'll use a couple of these options down here like the module what file do we want to attach to and then also the spec i'm going to set this to false uh, let's generate this a while so this is going to generate a couple files within a store folder within our products so just paste this and uh, where do we want this to go? And this is going to be in our products folder inside of a new folder called store. We removed that, but now it's going to generate as another one. And the files are going to have the name product for the beginning. And then our flags like the spec, we'll set that to false. And then the module. Now this we have to navigate from within the store folder. So oops, I keep forgetting the beginning of that. So module folder and then the products module module.ts file and that's pretty much it hit enter and yes to everything and it created us a few files and then also it updated our module let's check all that out so let's first check out the module click on that and uh, like it did uh, in a prior video it added it right here and it used the for feature so 
So I'll put this on a new line. Uh, so th that's all set up for us. That's very good. And I'll just save this. I can shut this down. And then we open up our new store folder and it generated as a few files here. So here's our brand new action. And this is really nice. Like uh, it creates all these actions for us automatically. Now we're going to have to come in here, really chop it up, change it around a lot, but it, it gets us started. So that's, that's good. And then if we go to our reducers, I absolutely love this. Like it sets up all our reducers boilerplate and then also it pulls an entity state for us if you checked out the last video we we had to set all that up but this is automatically set up for us so, that, so that's very nice now we'll need to change around a few things um like this this product model here we don't actually need this because we already have it right here so we just need to change around our address for that uh I'll close this down and then also um we might as well just delete this get rid of this Sorry about that. I, I keep forgetting to shut that off. And then in here, um, I'll, I want to change this from state to product state. So I'll just change that over. Copy this. Make sure you replace this and this. I like to be more specific so I know what state I'm dealing with. And this is very good. And then this is product good. And then here we want to change this. And I'll just do it this way. We want to go back a folder, models, and then it's the product. Very good. And then make sure you do the, the exact same thing in the action. I think we need to do it in there as well. Yes. Change this over. So now we're calling the correct models folder. So now that we configured that and we configured that, we could save this. And we'll really come back and check these out in the next couple of videos when we're setting up our CRUD functionality. This video is just set up work. So, and then also we're going to need a couple more files. We're going to need a selector file and also a effect file. So let's create the selector file and I'll call it the same name product uh, selectors and TS file. And then also we'll create a effect file and we could use the command line for that. Back inside of NGRX schematics, uh, click on effects and then copy this and we'll use a couple options they give us again like module we'll we'll configure it to our module and then the spec I'll set that to false so it doesn't generate as one of them if we go back here open up the command line uh, paste and then uh, where do we want this file to go and th this is going to go inside our products folder and then the store, and then we'll call it product. Keep it the same name. And I'll say yes. So it generated a new file, and then it configured it to our module. Let's check out the module. We open up the products module, make sure it's in there. And it added it right here, so that's good. And then if we go and open up the effects file, our new effects file, and this is looking really good and then you just want to restart the application make sure uh, it's running at this point it, like nothing should be broken so if we open up the command line and then just restart the application so control C and again you want to run uh, N npm run dev and then just uh, restart it and it all automatically restarts so everything should still be working so now that we got all that dirty work out of the way, we, we got everything set up. Now let's start working on our crate, uh, setting this up in the next video. So I'll see you then.